we're going to solve this problem runoff and i've downloaded the program and i'm going to start coding this up meanwhile you can smash that like button and i'll explain this program completely in the end one more time so keep on watching till the end so i'm going to first create a function over here called get index and using this function i am going to return based on the name that is given to me i'm going to return the index of that name index corresponding to that name candidate underscore count i plus plus then i'm going to see if this name candidate i dot name if this and the name that is given to me by the parameter if these two things are equal then i'm going to return i'm going to return that index otherwise i'm going to return minus one okay, after having done this what i'm going to do here is i'm going to look at this vote function and inside this vote function i'm going to ask for the index of that name in this array called candidates so in this candidates array we've got the name of the candidate the votes that has been received by the candidate and whether the candidate has been eliminated or not after doing this after figuring out the index of the candidate what we're going to do here is we're gonna check if the index is if that index is negative one then we must if the index is negative one then we must return false otherwise what we must do is we must update this preferences array and for every uh, for that particular voter and that particular rank i am going to set this global array preferences global array which says that the jth preference for the ith voter the ith voter jth preference has been updated over here okay and what we should do after updating that we must return true okay so we are finding the index of that particular name that has been given to me and then i'm figuring out uh, whether the index if it's negative one then the then no such name exists and i'm returning true after having updated the references array otherwise i'm returning false that's the vote function in tabulate function what we're supposed to do is we are supposed to update votes for non-eliminated candidates so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to Look at all, I'm going to iterate over the preferences array, right? Now, over here, what we did was we iterated over the candidates array to figure out the candidates index, and then we updated this preferences array. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to update, we're going to iterate over this preferences, this preferences array, and we're going to figure out whether we're going to figure out we're going to update the votes for the non-eliminated candidates so we're going to update the vote count okay so i'm going to do this i'm going to say I'm going to iterate over j less than candidate count j plus plus if it so happens now what should happen here in candidate index let's call this candidate index is equals references i j what's happening here is inside my global variable preferences we have the jth preference for the ith voter for the ith voter jth preference what we gotta do is we can find the candidate index in that preferences array and then what we're going to do here is we are going to say if such and such candidate the candidates and candidate index if index if this guy has not been eliminated Then what we're supposed to do here we are supposed to say candidates candidate underscore index dot votes plus plus okay and then what happens is once we update the votes for that particular candidate so we are going according to the rank so rank one is essentially rank zero over here rank two is rank one okay so we are iterating over all these ranks we're figuring out if if that 
candidate has not been eliminated and if the candidate has not been eliminated then we are going to update the vote count for that candidate otherwise if the candidate has been eliminated then what should happen here what will happen here we is that we will we are going to look for the next rank okay so if j is zero it's like rank one over here if j becomes one then we are looking at rank two or you know index one in that case and so on so after we figure out the first candidate which, which has not been eliminated we update the vote count and this candidates array we can break out of this loop so we are breaking out of this suggesting that we have updated the votes of that candidate okay that's tabulate and then we're going to go and look at print winner so what's going to happen in print winner is we are going to say we're going to say you know what min find the minimum okay so how do we find the minimum we're going to initialize min to be zero and what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out I'm going to figure out if the ith candidate if that is this candidate has not been eliminated this candidate has not been eliminated oops then I want to see if the minimum amount of vote is zero right so the candidate has not been eliminated let's say if the ith candidates votes is less than the minimum so far we're going to update the minimum to be candidates ith candidate votes and then we're going to return minimum so what we're doing here is we're figuring out the minimum of such in We're going to find the minimum candidate. You know what we should do here is we should also look for if we have found the first. So if we have found the first candidate, we're going to set that to false. Because what is going to happen here is if it is true that we have not found our first candidate, then simply should update the minimum to be that particular candidate because we have to start somewhere Oops, I'm going to it. if we have not found the first candidate and the minimum is supposed to be updated the minimum is going to be equal to the can that candidate's vote count and I'm going to set have found the first candidate to be true okay so we have found the first candidate otherwise this is going to be the case that the minimum is going to simply be updated okay so what we're doing here is first of all we are initializing the minimum count so far to be zero and then once we have found the first candidate once we have found the first candidate we are then checking whether the ith candidates votes count is less than the minimum count so far and then we're updating the minimum count so far to be equal to the ith candidates votes and then we're returning that minimum so we have figured out the minimum number of votes of any remaining candidate okay Actually, this should be inside here as we are figuring out the minimum to print to print a winner it's pretty simple what we're doing here is for int i equals zero i less than candidate count i plus plus 
if candidate counts of what we, what you're doing here is we are looking at the ith candidate if the ith candidates vote count if that's greater than the entire vote count the global vote count divided by 2 then we can print out that particular name okay the name of that particular candidate because we know that if a candidate has got more than half of all the votes that were cast we know that it's not possible for another candidate to get more than half because if you if one candidate gets more than 50 percent then there's no other candidate who can get more than 50 percent because it's just math because the total number of percentage of votes is just 100 percent so if somebody gets more than 50 then everybody else should get less than 50 and there will be nobody there will there won't be anybody who would get more than 50 percent so that candidate is actually going to be the name of that candidate is going to be printed out and we return true from here okay so find the minimum find the minimum we have this particular code it says we are finding the minimum by starting from zero initializing to zero and if we if the candidate has been eliminated and if we have found the if we have not found the first candidate we're going to update the minimum to be equal to the ith candidate vote count and then we would change this boolean variable to be true okay and so after doing this we have to do these two functions is tie and eliminate so is tie what we're going to do here is for is tie you know check whether plus plus check and I'm iterating over all the candidates if it so happens that the particular candidate has not been eliminated eliminated then we're gonna look for whether the candidate the number of votes if that's not equal to the minimum vote then I'm returning false Okay, because for a tie to occur, everybody should be equal to the minimum votes. It says return true if the election is tied between all the candidates, otherwise we print false. Okay. So what happens here is at the top, if you look over here, the logic over here is going to be if you've if oh, you can print a winner, then you've won, and if you've won, you break out of this loop. Otherwise, if there is a tie, you print out all the candidates. So this is tie function is taking in the minimum. And this is what we have implemented down below. Now, the last function we want to implement is this eliminate function. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to iterate over the candidates array once more in tie equals zero, i less than candidate underscore count i plus plus. If it so happens that the candidate, the ith candidate has not been eliminated, then we're going to look at if the candidate if the ith candidate's votes, if that's equal to the minimum number of votes, then we know that we must eliminate this candidate. So I'm going to flip this eliminated flag or this Boolean variable over here, okay? So every candidate has three properties, name, name votes, and eliminated. Then I'm gonna set this eliminated variable to be true. Okay, that's pretty much it. So let me just run let me try to make this and see if there's a problem over here. Run off. Okay, so first thing, store comp. We need hash include. We need to include the string library. String library. I'm gonna make run off once more. Find its water count or water count. It should be water count. 
border count line number of 178 There is one more bug that we have. Typo. Make runoff once again and it should be candidates eliminated. 234. 234. 223. Sorry. 223. Candidates of I eliminated. Make runoff. And instead of doing all this, you can type it in. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to run check 50 over here. See if it's correct or not. Meanwhile, I want to summarize this once more so that everybody is clear on what's going on. So the logic of this program is essentially we figure out the number of voters, we take in the max, we then we take in the rank, we take in this thing, this entire thing, and then we are basically saying. You want to tabulate it and so to tabulate function what happens here is you can see in tabulate function we are iterating over this candidates array and we are incrementing the vote count of that particular candidate okay so we are tabulating it and tabulate it tabulating all the votes then we're seeing if anybody's won the election or not so in this print winner function what's happening here is let's see print winner we are seeing if any of the candidates they've got vote count which is greater than the entire voter count divided by two and that particular candidate has won now if we haven't been able to find a winner then we're going to check for a tie we're going to find the minimum and to find the minimum what we're going to do here is we are saying that we are initializing the minimum variable to be zero and then we are basically if we found the first guy which has not been eliminated we update the minimum variable to be that particular candidate's votes and then we flip this variable this boolean variable to true so that now we apply this condition this condition what it means is we are saying if the current candidate's vote if they if the vote count of the current candidate if that's less than the minimum number of votes so far then we update the minimum number of votes so far to be equal to the current candidate's votes and then we return the minimum okay so that was finding the minimum and then after finding the minimum what is happening here we're tabulating it we're finding if somebody's won and then we calculate the minimum number of votes and then we are checking for chai and tai gets minimum as a parameter so we look into this is tai function and we're seeing if there's no we're iterating over the candidates array and we're checking if there has been uh, a candidate which has not been eliminated and you know the vote count is not equal to the minimum then we're returning false why because for this function to return true every single candidate must have their vote count equal to the minimum value and if any one of them is not equal to minimum then we are going to return false so that's that we're checking for tie and after checking for is tie what's happening is if there's a tie we're printing out all those candidates as the winner of the election and we're eliminating based on the minimum value so we are supposed to eliminate the candidates who are essentially the minimum essentially we are going to eliminate the candidates which have the minimum number of votes so after eliminating that we've finished this function after implementing the eliminate function we have to now check we can reset all the vote counts back to zero and then we again do back over here we start again we tabulate the votes we find out the winner if there's no winner we calculate the minimum number of votes we essentially check if there's a tie so that we are sure that you know every single candidate must have sort of different number of votes and if there has been uh, there, there is a tie if there is a tie then we print out all the candidates and if there was no tie then we eliminate the candidate with the minimum number of votes and then we reset all the vote counts back to zero and then we you know we start again okay so that's pretty much it like share and subscribe peace